Well, I have a great tomato tale to tell you today. I'm with Jan McNeilan, and last month you and William planted this um, hydroponic fountain with a tomato, and it was a small tomato last month. Yeah, well, it, it was, at least it was only about 10 inches tall, and now there's two tomato plants in here. It's all hydroponic. There's rock wool in the bottom with lava rock on the top. It's all water-based. There's no soil, and we take the water out every two weeks drain it out and then actually use it on other pots. Oh, and idea. then we put um, water back in and three different types of liquid, a natural liquid fertilizer. So this is getting hyper fertilized <laughs> um, about twice uh, every two weeks. Well, it's really cool. A hydroponic unit, this you can get online, but it comes all in one package. So all the directions are there. And so it'd be really easy for anybody to do. Yeah, this is uh, not available retail, but it is available through Green Air products. And they do sell the whole kit fertilizer and all. And um, it's uh, been a really fun thing and a nice fountain to listen to on patio. Oh, that's nice. And you know, kind of speaking, it hasn't been a real veg year this year. The weather's been kind of against us. So what do we talk to people about? You know, they've started things many times. It's, it's July, what can we do? Well, starts are available from garden oh, centers. True. Um, there are some things you can still seed. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you do choose, uh, look at the package carefully and find, get short season. Thing. So anything that's like 60 days, 68 days, sure. 55 days, <laughs> um, we have enough summer left, we hope, uh, that they'll mature. So right. at least you'll have a better success that way. And then do you think it, sometimes it's not us, it's not the weather, and sometimes it's the seeds. So watch the it, seeds it that you plant. It can be. Look at, at the, what you're buying. Uh, keep some records mm. and, and sort of keep track for next year to know what you had success with and what you didn't. Because it isn't all you. If, it's a, if you're a new <laughs> gardener, it's definitely not all you this year. Right, right. And then, you know, I, I've noticed that weeds are growing. It's, it's, you know, you want your plants to grow, but sometimes we have lots of weeds. So any tips on weed care, weed well, prevention? I tried an organic organic weed killer that I've heard about oh, many for many years, but I've never really tried it ourselves. And I tried a vinegar-based, clove oil-based uh, weed killer. And you just put a light mist on the weed surface or any plant, it's going to kill anything it okay. gets in touch with. But you just finely mist the surface of the, of the leaves and within one hour you see kill down. Now if you use too much, you're going to change the pH of your soil to the point where it's going to sterilize your soil and, and it's not necessarily a good thing. But if used correctly, it's actually a pretty darn good alternative to crawling on your hands and knees <laughs> and uh, weeding. And I just did it on a rock path mm -hmm. that we have. And so with any kind of chemical, if it's a petroleum-based chemical or even an organic, you just have to follow the directions because you can um, have damage too, sure. even though it's organic. Anything that's, or yeah, you can certainly have damage. And so we also have a tip on fuchsia. So let's walk over here. Okay. You know, this is a beautiful one. And so what kind of care is it this time of year? Well, first of all, make sure don't wait till it needs water to water it. They need water even when it's not hot and sunny. They still need water. Feel the, this, uh, the uh, potting soil in there and make sure that it's damp. If it's not damp, get it watered. Make sure it comes all the way through okay. and fertilize about every week to 10 days keep, so to keep it blooming. But also, here's the seed head uh, from a spent flower, and you want to remove that seed head and take them off. So you go through and look for those seed heads okay. and just pull them off so that the energy of your plant is going towards the new flowers and not uh, creating these large, and this isn't really that Ooh, large, that but... One. Uh, they can get really large and, and take up uh, quite a bit of energy on the plant. So we just take them off. All right, and stand back and watch the hummers. Right, and we have this in quite a bit of light, but what we did is we made another hook so that when it, on the hottest day, we can move them back ah, into the shade a little bit better. So that's a great idea. Hopefully they'll last us all season long. Yeah. Well, thanks for the tips. We'll see you next month. Okay. Thanks.